and welcome to the third part of my start to finish meshing tutorial. This is the Maya part of the tutorial. So we're just going to go over file, import, and you're going to locate where you saved your mesh. So I'm going to, and I actually already, um, <laughs> I had forgot, a, I had already recorded this and forgot a step. So I made a body already, but I'm going to show you what you would have to do in that situation. So I'm going to locate the body and then hold alt and the left mouse button to rotate, alt and the middle mouse button to do this rotation, and alt and the right mouse button to zoom in and out. So um, Basically, we're going to click this mesh, we're going to hold the right mouse button, oh, I forgot you don't have this open. So, Window, then UV Editor, make sure you're in uh, rendering mode over here, it'll start off in modeling, and then hold the right mouse button, go to UV, select all of it, click R, the little yellow box is all of it, um, is just scaling it on the Y and X axis, so then scale it down, click W, you can move it with these arrows or the little circle in the middle and just move it out of the way. Out of this little square box. So then minimize it, hold the right mouse button and go back into object mode, click the arrow. Then you're going to select the body and delete the part of the body where the mesh is located. So hold the right mouse button and click face. And you just delete the whole inside of where that is located. Make sure that no parts are showing. See how this is showing? You just shift click where it's showing. And then you can just delete the insides. And you see how there was a little clipping showing here? Well, I deleted that and I can do that with the arms and I have to delete the shoes. So just delete all the inside of the body and I will show you my finished product. Once you're done, your body should, you see how my sim body is perfectly fine right here? Well, on the inside, um, this is what it looks like. The arms are deleted on, and the, uh, the feet that were there and the main body part. So once you're done doing that, you're going to select your mesh, hold the right mouse button, go to add new material, I mean assign new material, find Lambert and click that. Then click the little checkered box next to color. This will pop up, click file. Then click the folder next to image name. And you are going to put the UV map a template inside of there. And then you're going to select the mesh and the body by shift clicking. Hold right mouse button and click UV. Um, select all of that, click R and rescale it back up. And this is very self-explanatory. Since this is a full body outfit, it could go both in the top and bottom category, but I like to keep it in the top category to be safe. So, but if you made a dress, it could go both in the top in the red and green. If you made just a shirt, it will go only in the red. And if you made only bottoms, it will go only in the green. If you didn't, if you made shoes, then this is a really bad tutorial to be watching for that. So nothing goes in the yellow. So I'm going to finish mine up and I will show you mine when it is done. I'm actually going to show you the first piece just so you have an idea. So I selected these arm pieces. So um, I'm going to select both. So they're both the same size. So shift click. And then I'm going to click R to scale it. And then W. And that's big enough. And I'm just actually going to keep them there. That's perfect. 
And then the actual body I will do on my own to save time. After you're done, it should look pretty neat and organized, something like this. Um, and then hold the right mouse button and click object mode. And now you need to UV map before you do this last step because if you don't, then it's just gonna turn out completely black. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the mesh after you go in object mode, make sure you're in rendering mode, go to lighting and shading, batch bake. You're not going to see batch bake if you do not have the plugin. I will send, I will give a link in the meshing master list to the batch bake or mental ray plugin if you are using 2016 it's not already in Maya 2016 it's not already in Maya but if you're using any lower version than Maya 2016 I believe that it already comes with the program but if you're using Maya 2016 I'm not going to tell you how to download the plugin there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do that um, so when you go to lighting and shading and batch bake there's a little box click that. Make sure your settings look like this. I'll give you a minute to look at it. Okay, so after you're done looking at that, click convert and close. It could take a couple of seconds. Okay, and once it's done, this is what it will look like. Now these black areas where the seam lines are, this is going to be the next tutorial. Um, and how to get rid of those. So don't worry if you, but as long as it looks fine uh, here, and if it looks weird under here, that's fine. Nobody's even gonna see that, but as long as it looks fine for the most part, if there's little black dots, it's fine. So after you're done, you're gonna select both, shift click, file, export selection, and then just select the body and export selection and name it body. There's a reason for this and I will see you in my next part.